Hello, welcome to the um, next part of this tutorial series. In this series, we'll be creating a. Um, well, in, it, <coughs> in this tutorial, we'll be doing the sidebar. So, um, first of all, um, go to our div ID sidebar and um, <coughs> there. insert the word cart between that. Um, and then what we're going to do is actually I'm going to create all this in a separate page and then just copy and paste it over in a minute or maybe just link it over with PHP HTML page nope PHP page it will have PHP code on it h1 call that cart I'm going to go to here, PHP, and that will be if is set. Uh, if session cart is set, SQL equals select all from product. ID in Right, I'll reorder this so it looks a bit nicer. Ugh. Um and that line there. Um basically this is a for each thing and a for each loop and when all it does um it changes a session which with the name of cart to an ID this is this will make it an array ID with a value of value um, and then the SQL will concatenate onto um, here where with the ID of the variable ID and it will add a comma at the end of this for each loop we need to do another line which is SQL equals substring SQL and order that ascendingly. So what this will do is the substring will basically get rid of the last comma because otherwise if we don't get, use that it will get an error and it will just carry on the um, SQL here um, I think no I don't need to concatenate that mm, I might do I'll have a look in a minute um, so substring and it'll have a look at the SQL zero and then it'll take one of them off um, I'm not sure what the zero means, but you just need it. And then order by, and it'll order it ascendingly. Um, from there, we'll need to do a while. Row equals MySQL fetch array. And I'll close off. HP there, and you've got a P, paragraph tag, HP echo, row, a row name, um, and a 
then I'll do PHP echo session cart row And then we'll close that uh, paragraph tag there. And from there we have a right index.php question mark page equals cart. And go to cart. And we don't need that quote there, I just put that by accident. Go here and we'll open PHP again. Close it else Right, if we save that, no, we don't need to save that actually, we copy that across into index.php between there. Save that, 